Hey guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am here at Blue Fox, which you guys should know by now is Stockholm's oldest and best alternative shop. We are here today to talk about one of the most important and awesome accessories for alternative people, and that is the bullet belt. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what a bullet belt is, how to use it, some tips and tricks, and then finally how I like to style a bullet belt. So if you haven't owned a bullet belt before, I can imagine that they look kind of weird and you might not know how they work. It took me a while to realize how they work as well. They are made up completely out of metal and a well-made bullet belt is made out of pretty hard metal, so they should be difficult to bend. You have individual bullets in shells held together by these little pieces right here in between. It's a very simple and decorative little accessory. I absolutely love my bullet belt. Here at Blue Fox, you can get a bullet belt for 895 Swedish Krona. If you want the kind that is only the shells, so where the bullets are removed, they cost 598. You can also buy individual bullets for 15 Swedish Krona a piece if you need to make your bullet belt larger. Obviously, you can also remove bullets if you need your belt to be tighter on you. I've removed like five or six bullets from my belt and as you guys know, I also wear one around my neck. Here we have a bullet belt without the bullets, so we only have shells. Here's one bullet in so you can see the difference. Here is the inside, so nice and metallic and clean. This is a silvery one. There's also bronze ones. Here is a bronze one. I actually don't mind combining the two together. It gets kind of heavy, but it looks really cool. So bullet belts can be a little bit tricky to put on and get off. I, for one, did this the wrong way for years. And when I realized how you're supposed to do it, I felt so free and dumb because it's actually not that difficult. I'm going to show you the way I used to do it, which is the wrong way. I mean, there's no right and wrong way. If you get it on and off, you're doing it right, obviously, but there's an easy way and a harder way. The right way to do it, which I recently learned, is to remove one of the bullets from its position, thereby opening the belt up. So I'm just going to press it down like a button and then you can slide it out and the belt is now open. Here is what it looks like when the bullet is removed. Have this little grip right here. And then to put the thing back on again, just make these two meet. And then from the top with the pointy edge first, you just put the bullet back in and it snaps in place. It's really that easy. To make it even easier to put the belt on and take it off, there are a couple of tricks that you can do. For one, you can use the same bullet every time you take the belt off. That way you kind of loosen the metal bit by bit and it gets easier and easier to put it on every time. I simply just put a little dot of black nail polish on top of the bullet that I usually use. And if we take that out, and look at it closely, you can see that it's got scratches on it. Well, that's because I did it wrong for a lot of years. <laughs> so yeah, this is the individual loose bullet. Put that back in again. So the way I used to do it, which is the difficult way, is to separate or open it by spreading it like this. So opening it like that is actually not that difficult, but it's the closing it the wrong way that is. I used to use force and try to like squeeze stuff together this way and you can do it that way if you have strong hands but I guess I don't because I always ended up having to ask my husband or a friend to put this on for me and now that I know how to do it I'm never going back to the stupid way. <laughs> and again the metal that holds these bullets together is very very hard so another tip for how to loosen things up is to actually use some pliers. Be careful not to scratch your metal too much like I did with my bullet because you can tell unless you like that look obviously. So you can use pliers to kind of bend the metal a little bit if you want it to be looser but if you use the pushing a bullet out technique you really shouldn't have to do that. I can actually push any bullet out at any time. It doesn't have to be just the one that I marked so. And when it comes to the styling of a bullet belt, for me, you can wear anything. Like it goes with anything. I'll wear this over dresses for going to parties and stuff. But my favorite way to wear this is to wear it with the kind of clothes that I like to wear, which is basically a cut up band tee and some distressed jeans like this. And this is 
where I live style wise. I really, really like this combination. And I also like combining the bullet belt with other belts. Like some of these we have behind me, for instance. This is actually what one of my favorite belts looks like. And I wear this together with the bullet belt all the time. So you can kind of wear them hanging a little bit crookedly, like they cross each other, which I really like. If you want to put some color in there, like a belt like this could look really cool. So Blue Fox really has all the belts that you need. <laughs> and again, I actually think it looks good to combine two bullet belts together. It'll be heavy, but it looks pretty cool, actually. You can also wear a bullet belt across your chest, like the Arnold <laughs> way. So yeah, this is a really fun accessory and it's a must have if you're a punk like myself. And there are so many fun things you can do with the loose bullets as well. I wear one around my neck, like I said, but sometimes I will also wear one in a loop in my ear. And I've worn them like as little bracelets. You can put them on your boots as lovely decorations. So yeah, it really is an amazing accessory and I love it. So yeah, that's it for today. If you guys have any more questions about bullet belts, will you let me know in the comment section? And also tell me what is your favorite way to style a bullet belt? Thank you so much to Blue Fox for having me over today. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.